It's a great day in South Carolina. This is Karen with Xanadu Muse, and welcome to my channel. I'm glad you stepped by. It's is all I, Karen, and that's nameless. His original name is Sunshine. I did try to name him Bruno. Then I tried to go with Arpeggio. He's not an Arpeggio. He's more of a Bruno. So I think I'm making a t-shirt that says, I talk about Bruno 24-7 and put his picture on there. Because I do talk about him nonstop and people are tired of it. I love this bird. Oh, he's going to get um, fresh in a minute. Anyway, I've got the hugest haul ever. It's been since December. So let me give a disclaimer. Before I begin. Some of this is my birthday. Some of this is Christmas. Some of it's Easter. I got some credits from Amazon. I um, got two bonuses from work. Two. I'm actually going to get a third one in October. And then this is tax income return. And I saw, <clears throat> I sold this bag, and I'll show you a picture of it, on um, Posh, Poshmark. Sold it for $700, and I paid 60 for it. And so I got some, I had some fun money and some gifts. Yada, yada. And a lot of this stuff I bought on clearance, too. So, please don't tell me I bought too much, because I already know I bought too much, but as I said, clearance, gifts, credits, bonuses, I sold something I was never going to use for mad money. I made $640. Anyway, let's get into it. Half of it's going to be um, art supplies, color supplies, and the other half is going to be mostly bird supplies, because you know, yeah. You've already seen what I got for July and August. I will have him up here the next time because they do not get along. He's jealous. So, that's why I got some extra bird stuff. Anyway, I did get something for me and the general stuff. I got three pairs of these. These are called Fisherman Sandals. I absolutely love these. I first saw them at Walmart many, many, many years ago, but they were leather. These are not leather. leather. These are canvas and they're stretchy. I got the tan black and white, and I can't remember the name of the store. It's like Americana or something, but if you Google um, first Fisherman, um, the actual Fisherman um, sandals, you'll be able to find them. These are a size 8. Then I got something I really, really needed because the um, toilet seat. The um, screws kept on screwing and it kept shifting and it kept pinching me in my posterior. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hi, gorgeous. Then I got this magic mesh. This is a screen. Hopefully it will cut down on the flies because I cannot use fly spray. Because when I let my pup out, the flies come in. And then everybody and their uncle have seen these from the Dollar Tree. They, this is a smoky gray color. It's a, that's a newer color. This, I actually put on uh, what? A firm. It's a um, Chromebook. It's for my mother's Christmas present. I thought I should have it now, but she, she refuses to take it because I gave her a crappy Christmas present because I was broke. But it's just a, it's just a Chromebook. I have to make sure it works before um, I put it up. Anyway, put that right there so it doesn't get broke. This next thing is a toy that I bought for him. But him alone. Because he needs bigger toys. We don't have a pet store that really caters to big birds except for in our flea market. Pets Unlimited, I think is the name. So I bought this toy, and I used the um, money from the bag that I had sold. And it's this, and you open it up, you put in um, nuts and stuff, and paper, and they pull it and do some foraging. And this cost $21.50, but it's heavy duty. Okay, the next thing I got, this was from Amazon. The toilet seat, by the way, was from Amazon. The match was from Walmart. You know where the the um organization things are, Dollar Tree. 
I got this from Amazon. These are um, also for the birds <coughs> to do um, sprouting. So I'm going to try sprouting. Then I got this for the smaller bird. You can't really tell what it is. Let's open it up. It, it's, it's a perch. Um, Conyers like to um, sleep on flat surfaces instead of on a wood perch. He likes to uh. sleep on the wood perch. The Conyers like to sleep on flat surfaces. So I got that for him. Uh. Just for a minute. I got this for the Conyer also. But he's only going to play with it when I'm watching him because these bells are not very good. And if he breaks the plastic, the um, bells are going to be thrown away. I don't even know if he's going to be interested in this. I got this at the Dollar Tree. I got these at the Dollar Tree, too. I got two sets of these. They're um, just like little plastic bowls. And it is for the sprouting. Here's the white shoes. The black ones I've already worn. I'm not going to show you worn shoes. You're welcome. Later, then I got a hairbrush for the cat because the cat's back legs uh, don't work very well, so he needs help with the brushing situation. Then I got this at Five Below. It is a ladder ball game. It is not to play with uh, the ladder ball game. It is um, for the conure, and I will show a picture of what I'm planning to do with it. And I got this to go with it. Let's see if you can see it. The picture will explain it. And I will insert it here. And the two last regular things I got, which is absolutely awesome, and I'll insert a picture with the uh, bird in it. I got this backpack. And it is for the Kanye. I can lower this down. Take so the close them up. It's got mesh here. It's plastic here. There's two perches in. And then I got them. Two cups that put clip on the perch for food and water. I don't know how it, oh, there it goes. And then he has this toy, which comes with these balls. You put the toy in this pin and then it hang it from some I don't know. That was just a freebie thing. And then my cousin gave me for Christmas a gift card to go to Disney World because we were going to Disney World. We ended up canceling. We were supposed to go in February. But it has something to do with the house my mom owns. She lives in. She had to do some repairs and she couldn't afford to go and she was the reason why we were going. Anyway, so I had a $50 gift card. I didn't know what to do with it. There was a coloring book I really wanted, and I gave the gift card to somebody to go and see if they could find the um, coloring book at the store. They couldn't find it, but after she went, she came back with the card. What? He can talk, by the way. Um, I found it online, so I bought it at the store. And which it was only like $15. Plus, I got this for my niece. This is absolutely awesome. It's, a, it's an art set. She really loves coloring and stuff. I was really impressed with this. Let me see if I can get it open. She's going to be six. Oh, my goodness. Oh. How do I get it open? Maybe, maybe, yes, maybe, no, maybe. No, I'm not saying. You can, here's the back of it. I mean, this is really, really, really super cool. I would have loved to have something like that when I was six years old. I mean, the scissors are kind of cheesy, but that's okay. It's just six, right? But yeah, I would have loved to have something like this when I was six. And it comes with a little, um, is it a comic book? No, it's just a little sketchbook. It comes with markers, stencils, pencils, paints. Looks like it's got watercolor paints, acrylic paints. Let me see, how do you get this up? No, I guess it doesn't come up. I thought... Oh. Oh, yes. It's a drawer. So that, that comes with a this drawer. Oil pastels and crowns. Pretty darn nifty. It was on clearance for like $20. And 
Um, sister said to get her the mini one, but the Minnie Mouse one, by the time I went to check out, it was already sold out. I was bummed because it was a couple dollars cheaper. Which really doesn't make a difference because I still have like five dollars left on the gift card. Oh my goodness, I gotta get back in there. I know I'm wasting time. Oh, don't forget it. So that came from the DisneyStore.com. Then I bought some felt. I was like, oh, no reason. why? What? I don't know why I bought it. I don't even know why I'm hauling it. I think I just really like this color. And it was the cheapest. And was at Walmart. It was like 20 cents. And now all the other pieces are 25. I don't know. Yeah, that, that, there it is. Then I got a couple of pink pens from Walmart. I got a cream one. And I just dropped something. Be right back. Alrighty. I'm back. I've got a teal one in the bottom of this pile somewhere. But this was um the Elmer's version. And it's a cream. It's like two something. This came from Hobby Lobby when they had their clearance. It was $1.24. And it was these die cuts. I bought it for somebody who likes um slaws. And then Dollar Tree is now having this smaller um vinyl. So I did pick up one of those. It's four by five by by forty-eight inches. I think they should give you more product since it's smaller in size. That's just my opinion. Then I got another one of these. I actually turned these down quite a few times, and somebody said to put them on Christmas cards. And I'm like, duh. So I went and bought the Christmas ones for Christmas cards at Hobby Lobby for a dollar twenty-four. I got these um, Disney stickers. I got them for $1.99 clearance. These are the stickers that are on there. And then, let's see. I got these stickers on clearance at Hobby Lobby for $0.74. Cents. Let's see, move it over, move it over. Oh, this goes with the backpack. And you can also carry small animals like cats and little like chihuahuas. That's the pad for it. But I won't be eating that. This is a birthday present. Oh my, well, you know what? Oh, here it is. Okay. My mom got me this watercolor set for my birthday. Oops, one of the paints is coming out. And it's got paint. Oh, wrong way. Paints on both sides. And I got it on Amazon. I can't remember how much it was. I've seen ads for this in on Facebook, but I don't want to buy Facebook because last time my sister did that for pajamas, somebody hacked her um, account. And it came with two water brushes, a um, paintbrush, and a pencil. I don't understand why I needed a pencil, but I said pen, pen, pencil sketch, five piece. One, two, three. Four. Am I missing a piece? I don't know. Maybe there's a piece missing. I don't know. But this, these two came together. Then I got this play set. And the reason why I got it's from Amazon too. I don't remember how much I paid for it. And the reason I got the play set. Hi, can I help you? Is because I want to use, I don't know if you can see this one right there. Well, not really. Yeah, there it goes. Use it to um, scrape um, crown when you press real hard and then you scrape the crown off of it. That makes a nice smooth service, surface. Then I got these stencils of Dollar Tree. Then I got this, um, like Happy Planner Duke at Dollar Tree. And then I got the disc. These are actually going to be a DIY. I'm going to might do a video on, but probably won't. Then I got the alcohol lifter and the stamp pad. If you use alcohol ink on your um like your Yupo paper or something, and then you um put a stamp on here and then lift. Then stamp it on the alcohol ink. It should lift it up. And this is pretty cool.
Technique. So I got both of these. They both came for Hobby Lobby and they were 40% off. So it was originally $3.99 with 40% off. $5.99 with 40% off. And then I got this um, Revlon Transfers from the Dollar Tree. It says Wish. I'm not going to open it. And then I got another one of these for me. It's a cloth from Hobby Lobby for $1.24. And I found a couple of these on clearance, and I think they were, they were weird prices, because 237 was not, it's not the price I paid for them. I think I paid a dollar for them. It's just the cards for the Cricut Joy, which I have a Cricut Joy. These are the, um, Macaron Sampler, and then I've got the, um, Romantic Sampler. And then I've got the, um, does not say. I think these are the, um, the, the, the gold mat, the gold mat ones. Okay, moving on to the east side. To the, I've been watching the Jeffersons. He laughed so hard at the episode where Louise was taking our class and she was drawing a nude man and George got upset and then, um, George did something naughty to her picture by mistake. It was by mistake, because I watched it. Then Georgia went to class, and this time they um, did a nude picture of a woman, and Louise freaked out and dragged him out, and the laugh track was going on through the whole episode. He laughed and laughed and laughed. <laughs> you got to laugh now. watercolor um, travel bag. I wanted one of those dishes that you pop open and close. And they have them at the Dollar Tree, but my Dollar Tree never had them. So I finally decided to break down and get one from Five Below, and it was $3.50. And it's this pink one, and it says beach hair, don't care. Which I don't understand what that has to do with a dog. But would you believe? Yeah. So I just got both. Then I got another one of these bags. I am it's just got stuff on it. I'm going to try to use the Cricut. <coughs> excuse me. And write something on it. I'm going to have to pause you. Alright, here is the item that rolled off the table when I had to excuse myself. It is a bottle of glossy accents. I have some, but the tube is so dry that I just went ahead and got a new one. And the reason is, at work, you would not believe... Driving down this road, how much wildlife is around the building that we work at. It's it's a very run-down street, and it's where the very made heavy gang influence. So heavy that the, um, there's no grocery stores because they all closed because they kept getting broken into and, stole, and stuff stolen from them. And what else was it? Oh. A lot of place, a lot of people don't have cars, so they, they have to walk. And the only places that they can get groceries at is unfortunately the Dollar General and Dollar Tree. And there's been several times I've gone to the Dollar Tree and someone's asked me for money for food, and I never ever carry cash. But I um, told them I, I will buy them five dollars worth of food or five items, which now is going to be a little bit more. But I will always buy them, but <laughs> since I don't have cash, and I take the receipt with me. <laughs> Anyway, if you go down the side roads, it's very, very populated with wildlife. I'm talking about um, deer, wild turkeys, possum, um, raccoons. I've seen a coyote, snakes. Talk about snakes. Um, they, you see them around the building a lot. And one happened to shed its skin. And I had just seen a video on how this lady is called um, Snake Discovery. If you like snakes or reptiles, watch her show. The reason why I, I'm, going to die, I'm going to go off on a tangent. The reason why I started watching her is because she has a blue and gold macaw. And she was on Bird Tricks, which led me to her channel, Snake Discovery. And she showed us how showed YouTube, the world, how to make pendants with using snake skin. And I was really excited because we found the snake skin, so I went and bought the glossy, the glossy accent. I bought the um, 
the um the glass cavatures or whatever you call it, and then I bought the bases and I already had the keychains. I come home to um start working on that. I pick up the bag and the snake skin was gone. It like it was just I don't know if it slithered off, but the dog got a hold of it, if it fell out of the bag, the thing was gone. I had the bag. The bag wasn't ripped up, but it was gone. Anyway, unfortunately I have not found another one. So instead I used his feathers. And there here's one of his um um down feathers, I guess you I hope you can see that. So one of his down feathers. And there's one of his um another one of his down feathers. This one's got yellow in it. And then this one has got a really baby feather in it. I put too much glue on it because I actually messed up on this one. But this one has the most feathery feather in there. So I bought all that and then to lose that. I was like, ah. Oh. So I I used his feathers that he naturally dropped. Then on I saw a video from um cut glue. What is it? Glue glue. Oh my goodness, I can't remember the name of it. I'll put a link in the description. She did a video where she took stamps that she bought on Amazon, but I didn't buy these on Amazon and used labels she got from Walmart. But the uh -huh. labels have been put up. And she she made some really cool labels, and I bought this, these stamps, which is pretty close to what she used. Relax Cut Glue. That's the name of her channel. Relax Cut Glue. But I got these from... Um, Oh, AliExpress. It's like a couple of dollars. So I'm going to use that instead. And another sticker sheet from Hobby Lobby for 74 cents. Some circus ones. And then I got these puffy ones with the um, leopards for 74 cents. And then I got these rub ones from Dollar Tree. Girls Run the World or something. I don't know if you can see all of it. And then I got these rub ons from the Dollar Tree. I'm sure these are, everybody's seen these. And then I've got these rub ons from the Dollar Tree. And then I got these um, die cuts from the Dollar Tree of the green butterflies. And then I got these stickers from the Dollar Tree of music notes for 74 cents. Yeah, 74 cents. And then I got another book, which is um, Toy Story. This is for my sister, children. And here are the pictures. Include it. And it was $1.99. And then I got some more animal stickers for $0.74. Cents. Do these have, oh, these do have googly eyes on every one of them except for the mouse. And they're holographic. Then I got this laminating pouch for um, on clearance for three dollars and twenty four cents, just because it was on clearance, and I have a laminating machine. I got these two things from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to make stamps with them: fun foam and the wood to glue it on. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby. I'm guessing I got this at Hobby Lobby because I don't see the original sticker for Hobby Lobby. It's Fabric um, stencils. I mean, it looks like the same stickers as the clearance, but there's no regular sticker price on here either. So who knows? I paid 89 cents for these stencils. Then I got the Mickey sticker, two stickers, two two of them for 99 cents. And then I, these were not on clearance, but they had the McCall on it, but they were 50% off, so I paid a dollar fifty because they had three McCalls on there, blue and gold. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? You gonna bite me? You're not gonna bite me. And then I got the last of the dance ones because my sister owns a dance studio. These are the stickers. 
of that. And just two pages, two sheets. Then I got um, for this glitter card stock um, for the joy. And then I got a pack of this paper. It's it's kind of like card stock, like Bristol. And this is for my newest, well, my repeat session. For because I started being into coloring again, coloring books. So you can, it's it's a little heavier than card. Copy paper is not quite as bad as cardstock. So we're gonna see how that pans out. Oh my goodness gracious. We got over. Oops, we don't want that there. Then this is another Amazon purchase. We're moving into the art supplies, by the way, which with the stickers are. I had one of these before and I may have held it here on the channel, but I, it broke. It broke where this plug plugged into this, and so this is already pre-wired, so that's good. It is a light pad, so I can do some tracing. I usually draw my little drawings on cheaper, like, um, newspaper print, and then transfer it to more expensive stuff. And then we're going to go into the, um, I, I bought way too much of the color pencils. The first set, I wish I never bought, but I'm not going to return because I think it's too late. I bought the wrong set. And I, I wish I knew now, but I, I wish I knew now, no, I wish I knew then what I know now. I bought these. It's a 180 set. They're wax-based pencil. And, I mean, they only, they're all right. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. I just wished I had um, bought these instead because a lot of people um, enjoy these. And they have um, about 60 more pencils, but and the tin is actually much prettier. <laughs> but these have um, better reviews. And these are um, budget-friendly pencils. They're about $35 for, about both, for both of them. This one has more. I don't know. And this one comes with a tray with two pencils. And boy, do they smell. Probably not a good idea to have them near. They're not oily pencils. But, so, that's, this is what the tray looks like. And this is what the cover looks like. And this is what the color sheet looks like. So, yeah, I wouldn't have bought these. I should have bought these. This next set is from the same company as these, but they're they're um, wrapped differently. And I really, really like this. And this is my to-go set. And these are wax pe pencils. These these three are wax. I have some oil based, so I just wanted there's I have three different types. This is the wax based. I really, really, really like this set. Here's um this is for when I'm on the go. And this even comes with a drawing set. And this comes with 120 pencils. It comes with a handle. I'm thinking it was probably about the same price as um, the 240 because it came with the case and the um, drawing pencils. It also came with this knockoff. Um, Johanna, uh, Johanna Basswood book, which I already colored a little bit in there, just to you know, try them out. And it uh, comes with a handle. Yeah, these are just when I go to my mom's or something. Okay, that's it for the oil. I mean, the water, the wax. Let's go in the, the oil. Polychromos. Which I think that I, I think I shared that, that I found a 12 pack polychromos on clearance at Michael's. It turns out it wasn't that big of a deal because that's how much they cost on Amazon. Anyway, I can't afford it, you know, the whole set of polychromos. So I got some of the knockoffs. I got the castle. They sell this sucker for 75, 70. 
$69.99 on Amazon. And on their website, they had it for $104. And then they had it knocked down to $70, so it was the same price. But I had a 50% um, coupon, so I paid $35 for it. And then one of the pencils got messed up, the black one of all things. And they don't sell, sell these individual. None of these, by the way, they sell individual stock. So they gave me 10% off of it, so it knocked it down another um, $4. But yeah, I, it comes with a case right here handle and it came with um, quite a few of the um, sketchbooks you got the black paper you got the white cartridge you got the um, beige and you got the Bristol board and, oh that's not supposed to be in there I think it is supposed to be in there and here's the color chart which I've already um, I did fill this one out because I had to to prove you know to explain to find out which ones were messed up, but there was only two. That's my eraser that doesn't belong in there. And here's what these look like. I think these are 122. They might they might be 150. I can't remember the the amount of pencils. It's their largest set. It just came in a travel tin and a travel case instead of the tin. The travel the tin was it's a few dollars cheaper, not much. So that is that for castles. Oh, it's right here. It's 120. And I really enjoyed using these. I've colored a few pages. It's just that black. I'm gonna show you the black compared to the others. I know I'm wasting time. But you know what? It's my time to waste. You don't have to watch it. Okay. And I've I barely used the black, and I had to sharpen it several times. It split the lead split down in half, so it kept breaking. But and you can find bunches of reviews on every one of these, except for I haven't found reviews very good review. On when I say good reviews, I mean some of you actually reviewed them. Properly for this one, they colored with them, but the review, but they didn't really review them. Okay. Um. Then I got these. These are also oil markers. The castles of these and these are not markers, pencils. These are oil-based pencils. And these are the square ones. I was going to buy the bigger brute funders because I think they're 180 but everybody was saying that the um, square ones are the better ones and that's what these look like. These are square pencils. I actually messed up one of them. This one, yeah, this is the one I messed up. Let's see if you can see, yeah. Because I tried to use a pencil sharpener that it was not working, but I resolved that issue. I, my Prisma pencil sharpener will sharpen these. And here is the, this swatch chart. I don't swatch my pencils usually. I put them in pencil cups, which I didn't show you that. I need to show you that because that was part of my haul. Hold on. Oh my goodness, why am I bothering? And then. Everybody saying how great these are. These are also oil pastels. Not pastels, pencils from the same company, but these are pastels. The oil pastel pencils. These are round instead of the square. These are the pastel colors. I got those two. They, they had these were a pretty good price. the third set of pencils because I said there was two, three I got a set of watercolor pencils which I don't know that's what these look like and apparently there was not a, there is not a swatching set for this hi he's eating me what are you doing okay
then the last of the tins are these markers. These are water-based markers. They're dual tipped. It came with this cheesy little coloring book, which I'm not a big fan of, like this Entangly coloring books. And they are called Heathron. This is what their swatch chart looks like. And here's what their markers look like. I got it because, not for the brush tip, because I got the Tombows. I actually got it for the how tiny this tip is. Look how little it is. And it's 120 set. Oops. Oops. And it has got the needle on it. It had a hundred box and it had a tiger on it, I think. I would have rather had the tiger on the tin. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers because I wanted the 120 and not the 100. I'm spoiled. Okie dokie. Put that over there. That. Oops. I'm glad that was the markers and not the pencils. Okay. I'm st I'm still going. Oh, I forgot to show you um in my regular stuff the bag I replaced when I um, sold that one for seven hundred dollars. It's the same um company. But it's this is the one that I actually use. This one, I paid about the same price. I did get it used on Posh. And these little stars, if you can see them, they glow in the dark. It was Peter Pan, of course. It's my favorite ride at Disney World. One of my favorite rides. I take that back because I really love the Pirates of the Caribbean. I've always loved the Pirates of the Caribbean. Anyway, I didn't mention it before, but you've probably seen the picture already. It was of the Cinderella Castle. It was of the actual park castle. This goes with the castle thing. Okay. I got this at um, Dollar Tree. Is it Dollar Tree? Yeah, Dollar Tree for three dollars in their um, their plus section. I'm going to be doing an art project with it. <coughs> and this is how I resolved the um, pencil issue. I got a brand new pencil sharpener. I didn't go willy-nilly and just buy it because I'm because of the square ones. My actual Bostick one that I've had since 1990 something kicked the bucket. So it's pretty cool. And it's a chargeable one. And it's electric, you know, and it's and it stops. And I've used it quite a bit already. I really like it. Let's see. Where's my boot funders? Let's see. We're going to try them out. Try it out. I haven't tried them out yet, but I've seen people actually have the same one on um, YouTube, and they claim it works. So I'm going to take the one that broke, since I don't particularly like lavender all that much anyway, and we're going to try to sharpen it. Here we go. It's sharpening. There we go. So it, it's kind of getting better. Yeah. So now that we know it's working, I'll take an, I'll, I'll do another one. Go to this yellow one. Very light yellow one. And it stopped. And look at that point. So A plus. Whoops, I just broke the point. <laughs> my bad. That was my fault. <clears throat> Oops. I'm balancing stuff over here. Here's the teal paint pen from Walmart. All those pencils, by the way, came from um, Amazon. This came from Amazon. <clears throat> Why? Oh. I forgot something. You forgot something, Karen. Thank you, bird with no name. Come here. 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 <laughs> okay. Now for Easter. Oh, by the way, um, those markers, 
That was an Easter gift. I didn't buy those markers. My mom got me them for Easter. I wanted a bunch of Crayola stuff, and some of this is Easter, and some of it I bought myself. Okay, here's the Crayola. It's my Crayola collection. This I got for Easter. I know I'm spoiled. It's a hundred um, super tip markers. Let's see. That wasn't easy. None of these are Easter. There's only two things for Easter, I guess. Oh my goodness. Excuse me while I get the rest of the stuff. Okay. And the other set was the 120 pencils. I had the 100 cap now. I the whole Do I really need all these pencils? Absolutely. Okay, here's the rest of my Crayola cr collection that I have been collecting lately. I got the 24 pack of the World of the People Colors, which I've already called these before, but I put them in a to go set. And so I want another set. And I got another box of crayons, which I have called before, but the, so I'm showing them to you again. Then I got the confetti crayons. I got the neon crayons. I got the cosmic crayons. I got the oil pastels and the neons. These were on clearance at Michael's. Okay, let me backtrack. Walmart. Amazon. Walmart, Michaels, I got the oil pastels at home with it. They gave everybody a $5 um, reward coupon, everybody, so I got these, and then these were on clearance, so these both came from Michaels. Michaels, if I didn't say that. No, I lied, Walmart. Walmart, the twisting. There's a bigger package on Amazon, which I'm gonna have to order, just because I want it. Walmart, the um, thin versions, and then the fat versions, Walmart, of the um, colors of the world. So both, and then I got the Big Daddy markers, the big fat ones. That was from Amazon. Then my sister got me these. 64 camp for my birthday. My niece picked it up. I had also gotten... The 168 with the um, rectangular whatever ones, and I returned them because she gave me these. I got the those for um, Easter, yeah. So I returned those and actually got a coloring book instead. Now let's go into the books. My goodness, this is over an hour long. No, we got one more thing to do. These stamps, I got these for a dollar. Hello, do you want something? You gonna climb on me? You're thinking about it? You think I'm not? Hey, hey. No, don't chew on the shirt. Coloring books. Apparently, I really like. This is the kids' books first. Apparently, I liked, really like this one because I got it twice. So I'll give one to my niece with her art set. And then I got this one. Tropical party. I just love the simple pages. Then I got the jumbo coloring. It's like more of a like nautical kind of thing. It's got sea life, pirates, and mermaids. I think they had another one. It was trucks. What are you? Why are you pacing? Why are you pacing? You can climb up here. You thinking about it? You're almost here. He's, he's, don't ask. He's preening me. Hey, hey, don't put a hole in my shirt. Do you want to climb on my shoulder? Come on. Come on up. Come on. Come on. I guess I'd be numb. And then I got the Mandalorian. All these came from um, Dollar Tree except the two of them, I think. They have a Star Wars version of it. I just didn't like it as well as this one. Are you going to come up? You going to come up? Aha. This one, I think, came from Dollar General. And it is the, um, nope, this one came from Walmart. 
It looks like Dollar General sticker, but I believe it's Walmart. This one came from Walmart too. Um, what are you doing? Don't ask. Circus fun, and it comes with stickers. You know what? This one might be Dollar General. I don't know, cause this is not. This is definitely Walmart. Ah. This is of unicorns, ponies, or whatever. Would you stop that? I love him. I prefer the just coloring, coloring books over uh, the ones with the activities. It's hard to find them in the kids. And then there's the Lion King one. Which, uh, oh, I forgot to show you something else I got. Stretch, 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 stretch. We went to see the Lion King. And I got the program with the, um, well, oh, there it is. With the, um, music to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was an awesome, awesome, awesome musical. Then we went to see The Waitress, which was, my sister actually liked The Waitress better than The Lion King. I like The Lion King, but I still love The Waitress. I knew there was a movie called The Waitress, which I'm not sure if I have a DVD to, but I always wanted to watch it. So I, I didn't have, I knew I wanted to see it, but I didn't 100% know what it was about. Would you stop that? It's so funny. And then this is the last one, the Crayola with the princess. My, I like the Crayola books at the Dollar Tree because the, they have no activities in there. This is kind of coloring books I like for kids sections. All right, let's go to the regular, the, the art books, and then we're going to the adult coloring books. Please excuse me while I stretch over with my. A bird on my shoulder. A bird on my shoulder. Most of these came from um, Hobby Lobby, by the way, with a few exceptions. And they were all on clearance, except for that few exceptions. Okay. Here's one of the exceptions. This book came from the Dollar Tree. I really enjoy the series, the Miss. Had a, this Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And this is based on the movie, I believe. But I've read all the books, I think. I might have, haven't read the last one. This one came from Ollie's. And it was $2.99. I think I already have this one. No, it's the second one I already have. Because I'm such a dork. So one of these, so I'm going to take it to work. And I think I might have already taken it to work. So this is a Zen Drawing Workbook by Suzanne McNeil. This is Zen Doodling by Carolyn Scrace, Squash. And I think this came from um, Ollie's 2. I'm pretty sure it did. And it was probably the same price as this. $2.99, $3.99, something like that. And this one came from Ollie's. And it was Flora Bunda style. And how to draw some doodles. And it's by Suzanne McNeil, the same person who wrote this book. I believe she also um, did drawing. I mean, um, word. Am I right? Okay. Let me think. Let me think. No. Lettering. Lettering. I think she did lettering. I think it's the same person. No, nope. it's nope, not the same person. I'd be wrong. Oh. It's this one that I got to, uh, not the other one. So. There's the one that's going to work. <laughs> okay, this one also came from Ollie's Expressive Painting. And this one was $3.99 and it was it's by Joseph Stoddard. And this is how to draw cute stuff. And this one came from Walmart. And 
says $12.99, but I think I paid $10 for it. I'm not 100% sure. This is probably one of the most expensive books I have in the drawing books. And then this one, well, a lot of them came from Ollie's. It's the Urban Sketchbook, and this is $3.99. And it is by Sergey Camera. Not there, Sergey Camera. Hopefully it will revert. This one's from Ollie's too. It was a dollar ninety nine, and it's How to Draw Coco. I really liked Coco, and then I really liked the Conto. That's why I want to name him Bruno. But I don't like naming my animals after people. So that's why I keep changing it back. This came from, where did it come from? Hobby Lobby. And it was originally $24.99 with 75% off. So it was 25% off. I, I, I took the stickers off, so please excuse me. You can do the math. I only paid 25% of it. And I kind of wish I didn't get this one. I wish I opened it up and I would have saved the money because this is digital and I'm not a big digital art person. But I do like the um, dragon pictures in there so maybe I can use just the pictures but yes this is mostly digital art it's called dragon draw learn to paint draw and design dragons by Piper Dibby Dibido and it was a I already told you that so if the front of it said digital I would have known not to buy it on how to draw wild animals and this one was originally $11.95 with 75% off and it was by um, Jonathan Nui and this is from Hobby Lobby what, what are you doing? you're getting a little personal keep your tongue to yourself uh, don't, you, don't you give me attitude don't you give me attitude he's preening me Hobby Lobby also, the dogs, it's $11.95, by Susie Hodge, I love drawing books, it's my library of drawing books, oh, the tea stand, I bought this tea stand with the um, money from that book, um, that book money, it came with a set of two, and a clicker, Best money I ever spent, too, because he. You want to go back? Because I can get him to sit by me now. Because sometimes he doesn't like to be too close. He'll, he'll come, but not too often. I mean, he, he will come when, when I ask him to. See? Come on. You want to step up? You want to step up? See? <laughs> he's, he's making me out the way. Will you please step up? Come on, step up. Step up. Step up. Okay, go backwards. Yeah, there you go. Stop. He prefers the backwards. There you go. Good boy. Okay. Farm Animals. By Susie Hodge. Once again, eleven ninety-five. Paid twenty-five percent. It was seventy-five percent off. This one was probably I think I already own this one too. <laughs> it was in Doodle Inspirations. And it was by um Caroline Scars Scares. Wait a minute. See, same person. Same person. Is it the same book? This would be very annoying if it was the same book. Because I gotta hold on. I'll let you know. No, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be the same book. No. Okay. What? 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 No, not the same book. That one. That one probably was $3.99 at Ollie's. This one was from Hobby Lobby. Draw 62 animals. It was originally $19.99, so um, $2.50. No, it was five dollars. 
So this one, we, these were probably about $3. Yeah. I, I know my math. I know it. How much did I say this was? Um, $25. So this was probably um, $7. How much was this originally? It doesn't say. $19.99 and it's $4.99. Watercolor. No, it's acrylic animals. Hobby Lobby. Doo -doo -doo. And another um, Hobby Lobby, 100 birds, butterflies, and other insects. It was $19.99, so it was $4.99. I didn't pay one full price for the books at um, Hobby Lobby. Um, this one was half was um, 25, I'm 75% off. It was $23, so it was probably about six, seven dollars. It's kind of similar to that one that I got at Walmart that I paid full price for, almost. The next one is Inking Florals. It was originally, um, how much? $21.99, so it was probably about $5.50. That one's by Is It Down. This one doesn't, by Katie Cook. This one's by Melissa Washburn. And... Megan Wells. I have a lot of these. I know. I went a little crazy. Ready to paint in 30 mi minutes. Animals and watercolor by Matthew Palmer. And $19.99. So these was five. So this was $4.99. I haven't got to the adult coloring books yet. Then Fast and Fun Watercolor by Gina Lee Kim. $24.99, 75% off, so probably about six, seven dollars off the top of my head. These are a couple of magazines. Okay, I paid full price for the magazines. 200 animals to draw, $19.99, so $4.99. You can't really see. They're, um, it's line art, really light. And that is by Lee G Lee Ames. This one annoyed me. Cause let me show you why. Let me see. Cause I didn't think I had this one. Oh my goodness! I don't know what happened to it. Anyway, it was bound up very similar to this. This is paperback. This is a hardback. So I already had this one. I was very annoyed by that one. Oh, oh really? It's gonna be like that, huh? Here it is. This is this is the original one. No. <laughs> you see? <laughs> How much was this one? It was originally sixteen ninety nine. So seventeen dollars. Dollar seventy cents a dollar seventy. Two three fifty. About four dollars for this one. This one was I paid twenty for this. I don't. I'm sure I didn't get this full price because I don't buy books full price. In a minute. So yeah, I'm going to donate this one. And then I got this little colored pencil one um, for four twenty three. It is by um, Tara Hanley. Oh, by the way, this one does not have this one does not have an author. I guess it's a mix of authors. It was originally $16.95. And it is um, colored pencils, a playful guide to drawing with colored pencils. Next one is um, floral flowers and color. It's colored pencil was $1.99. It's originally $9.95. It's one of those um, Robert Walter Foster by Cynthia Knox. And then I've got a Zen Mandala. Zen Mandala. I generally do not like to color mandalas, but I don't want to draw them, I don't think. This was $1.99. It was by Suzanne McNeil again. Hi. You want back? You want to come back? No? Are you sure? 
you can come back, maybe. And then I got the Zendudo Mandalas by that Carolyn Stars again. And this was from Ollie's. That's probably $3.99. And let's see, I got these two from the Dollar Tree. I may or may not have these because they happen to change the covers to um, these drawing books all the time. Well, we'll find out. Since I'm making this video last forever, let's see. Here they are. Okay. Here they are. Let's draw jungle animals. Um, pets, long. Fantasy, sea life, prehistoric, dinosaur, jungle animals. Now we will see if this is the same book. Okay, the first book is a turtle. I mean, the first animal is a turtle. These are not the same books. Awesome. These are. So this is different from this. These are not two. Now be careful this one. Hey, hey. Because they will change the animals. It might be a tiger on it one day, and then it might have a toucan on it, and then it might have, um, I don't know, a gorilla on the cover. They change the animals on the cover. So, that was from the Dollar Tree, and let's draw dogs and cats from a Dollar Tree. And then, I got three magazines. It's been so long, I've got two of the same issue. Our journaling. I've got Lucy. This is the um, I can't read it. April, March, and June edition of art journaling. And then I've got the July, August, and September issue. And this one I should be getting a new um, issue this month, I believe, because they're they're. They're quarterly magazines and they're they put them out a month apart. So this one is I can't read it. Yes. March, June, and July. So this next one's coming out in August. So I'm going to be on the lookout because this is actually my favorite one out of the two. I prefer the Somerset Studio. Then for my niece's birthday, I got these. They were on clearance for three dollars and fifty cents, and then they were fifty percent off, so I paid uh, Dollar seventy-five for these books. I'll tell you what, when you leave your cell phone at work and you have nothing to read while you're in line through a fast food restaurant, you'd be happy to have an elephant piggy book sitting next to you. I love this author, Mo Willems. So I got the piggy book with the um. There's a bird on the head, and we are in a book. My sister, I mean, my niece loves these books. And don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Right now they have the, um, the cat, the, um, the cat, the blue cat. And I can't remember the name of the cat. They have that and the stuffed animal. And, um, they had stuffed animals, but I didn't get them in time. I'm still not done, people. I'm going to put you in pause because I got the coloring, the adult coloring books to do. Okay, I'm back. Uh, can you, this, you can't see it, but this one and this one are my coloring books. These two shelves. They're this, it's, it's about as full as here, to, all the way to back there. <laughs> what are you in my hair for? I like him. Um, you're shady. Before I show you this crazy stack, because this is how big it is. I purged a lot of my coloring books and there so you can see there's a lot of space I've given about I'd say 40 books up out of this 40 books probably 80% came from the Dollar Tree because they were they had a big a massive collection of them come in and they were really nice books they were and they were originally priced like twenty dollars, fifteen dollars, sixteen dollars, but I was get it was they were a dollar at that time, and I just I was just 
grabbing them left and right, not really looking at them. A lot of them were the Zentangly type. And wow, you saw me haul all those Zentangle books. I love drawing Zentangle, and I even like coloring my own Zentangle. I do not like coloring coloring books that are Zentangled. And there's one in here that I'm kind of annoyed about because they did not advertise it as Zentangly. And probably 25% of the book is, and I think it's 15% um, too much. Anyway, without further ado, the coloring books. Coco Wyo. I got the um, Spooky Girls. She just, oh, this one's so cute. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the flies have gone. And then Amazon. These you can get at Walmart, but they, this is also Amazon. I got this on Prime for $7.99, I think. I, think, I don't remember the prices of these. Just, they're the current prices on Amazon. So I got this. No, I got it for $7.50. Oh, let me tell you about the credits. Because I, I mentioned the credits at the beginning. If you did these four things, you um, downloaded a uh, Prime book, you listened to a Prime song, you watched a Prime show, and you purchased a Prime product, $5 or more, you got $10 in credit. But it was only good for Amazon. And a lot, 90% of Amazon stuff is sold third, second party, third party, whatever. So most of the stuff that is Amazon only are books and, mu and music, and I guess. I don't know. A toilet seat, oddly enough, was an Amazon product. And so was um, the paper that I showed you way back. But it's mostly books. So I got the $10 credit and I bought one or two of these books. Also... If you used the if you used checked out with a firm, which I did with a Chromebook, you got twenty five dollar credit. What? He's weird. You got twenty five dollar credit, Amazon. So that's thirty five dollars. And they had another um um promotion. If you go to their website, you get two dollar credit. But there was only so many a day, and I happened to hit upon it when I was trying to to find out about the um, $25. So I had a total of $37 in credit. And then one of these books I actually got for free because it came messed up, but it came messed up because it was bent and it's been sitting on in between all these books. And it's flattened out after, after and I didn't have to send it back. So here's a top tip. If you get something damaged from Amazon, do not do a manual, I mean, do not do a over the, um, computer return go to the chat type in representative and keep typing representative until you get a live person and you tell them what is wrong with the item nine out of ten times they will tell you to keep the item and they will um, either refund you the item or they will ship it to you I actually um, got an Apple pencil and an Apple Apple oh, the fly I can't put bug spray because my baby. My baby. And I got an Apple iPod. I got them free because they sent me another set because it was shipped to the wrong house. And then I told them I found them and they told me to keep both of them. So I got two Apple pencils and two Apple iPod, um, iPod earbuds. I gave one to my niece and she's like, these are actually Apple. I'm like, I know. She thought she was going to get something from the Dollar Tree. Anyway. Back to, um, so the villains, you can uh, Walmart's $9.99. Uh, it says $12.99 on the, uh, the retail. And I got it for $7.50 because of Prime. Uh, Which, this I got from um, uh, Dollar General. It's a $3. $3 because it's, you know, a $3 sticker on here. This is an Ava Brown book. Okay, but another fun story. Ava Brown, a lot of books are printed at Amazon. Ava Brown's one of them. Ava Brown, they'll give you um, like 50, I mean like 25, 25 um, sheets. You got color test. They'll give you 25 and then they'll have a duplicate. Let's see if I can find a duplicate. I can't find a duplicate. 
Oh, here's the duplicate. And then they'll start over. Ava Brown's the only one that does this. Oh, how you can tell it's printed in Amazon is it says right here printing in Columbia, South Carolina, which by the way, this is Columbia, South Carolina. So it's right down the street where I printed it. Um, Ava will, Brown will give you a code and you can download the PDF along with the heart, the actual physical product. This is the only coloring books that I have found that it does that. So I got the um, Christmas in July, Ava Brown. I don't know who the author is. Ava Brown is the publishing company. It does not say. You can go to the, join their Facebook group and you can join their uh, mailing group and you can get free digital downloads too. This one is a coloring book cafe, Tropical Birds. I got it because of this dude right here. The first page is technically a Scarlet McCall, but you know what? It doesn't have to be a Scarlet McCall because I could just color the, the beak black and it will be a blue and gold McCall. Hey. Ah! I think there's a um, blue and gold McCall in the back. I wonder if the beak is colored in. Let's find out. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I think this is the McCall. Yeah, they didn't come with the beak either. The black, the, this, he's got a black beak. The scarlet's got a white beak. Plus the red, and he's not red, obviously. Boop. 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 Let's see if we'll do it. Hey, hey, hey. <gasps> hey, hey. Hi. Hi. See, <laughs> he waves. <laughs> okay, give me five. Now this is the one he has all the trouble. Ah, no, 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 I don't want your beak. Give me, a, give, me, give me five. He hasn't done it in a long time. I don't see, well, he hasn't done this one in a long time either. I don't, and he has trouble doing it with the finger. Come on, hey, come on, come on, come on. Come on, he can do it. Come on, come on. Ah, he's not gonna do it. Come on, he can. Come on, come on. No, he's like, you don't have treats. This is the one that I got annoyed with. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Peekaboo! Peekaboo! See, I mean, you just, I don't want to color this. I want to color this. Peekaboo! I don't want to color this. Pretty bird. He doesn't know pretty bird. So, this one is cute coloring book for adults and teens, adorable fantasy animals to color. Hello! Is this a. Yep, this is a printed on Amazon paper, too. Cella Works. And owned by Cella Works. Cella Works, Cella Works, Cella Works. I'm still. I'm still annoyed about the. Um, Zentangled stuff. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, see, mm, yeah, no, that's not much of color. Mm. But I do like oh, some of the pictures. Yeah. Well, I think this one was five ninety nine. And this is. I also bought this at the same time as I bought the. Um, oops. Sorry. Another three dollar one. I've colored in this one a lot. This one was from Dollar General. It's, I really like this book. Oh, yeah, that's not a good picture. This is my favorite picture I've colored. Really? 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 I love you. I love you. I'm going to color this one. Up. I love you. Come here. What do you mean, come here? I am here. These were, I was depressed per purchases. I probably would have bought these. I was in the vet. It was just really bad. Let's just say I walked out without my cup. So it was buy one, get one half price for a certain amount. And it was like Prime Day. And one was on sale for like $5, and the other one was, I don't know. So one I paid $3.54, and one I paid $5 for. And it's these Thomas Kincaid ones. The funny thing is, the pictures are different, and they'll have the same picture, like, for example, 
they have this picture of both of them. Look at, let me see if I can find it real quick. Oh, where is it? Where are you? Where are you, Cinderella? Is this it? No, I don't think that's it. She was walking across the bridge, right? Oh, I'm making you wait. Do something cute. Spin around. Do the hokey pokey. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm telling yourself about that's what it's all about. You put your left foot in, you put your right foot out, you put your left foot in, you shake it all about. You, yeah, see, this one doesn't have the lines in it. I don't know why they changed the picture. I have to find it in the other book. I'm coming. It is coming. There, there. It's the same picture, see? But. Anyway, carry it on. I got my first mythographic menagerie book. I think I get this at Walmart. Walmart is about eleven or twelve dollars. I so yeah. Then I got the one, the World of Wonders by Johanna Basford. Walmart. It's like I think it was twelve dollars at Walmart. Oh, I mean, everybody's seen this in their uncle. Cute and creepy coloring book. My sister got me this because I watch the dogs. I told her from now on I'm going she's gonna give me a coloring book every time I watch her dogs. And then I told her when her cat attacks me, she's gonna buy me another coloring book. So she technically owes me two. I <laughs> just kidding. Okay, here's the coloring book that I had bought at the, at the Disney store along with that coloring set. I wish they would have made it a full pictures, but they like cut some of, oh, like this. They should have made these full pictures. Let's see. Like, why didn't they make this a full picture? Why? Why? This one, it says $15.99. I actually paid full price for this. Create-topia, a coloring book. I think I got this at Walmart too for like ten dollars i cannot tell a lie i bought it for this one picture let me find it and there's no reason why i need to explain why hey does it look like you you think <laughs> yeah yeah oh, oh and then Fragile Words. This is my first Kirby book, which I've got quite a few in here. Oh my goodness, what is all over this? Looks like I got bird boo boo on it. It's not bird boo boo, it's um, pellets. When I say pellets, I mean they're food pellets. Fragile World. So everybody and their uncle knows this one. I think I got this one at Wally World too. And then Dragons. I either got this one, on, I think I got this one on Amazon. This might have been the free one. Yeah, I think this might have been the free one. It was either this one or the mermaids. I don't remember. And this one I got at the book at Walmart. And this is the one that's got bird pellets on it. It's another Ava Brown. It is um nutty gnomes. So please disregard the green stuff because that is the pellets and not the pale. There's one where the um, gnome is drinking. It's pretty funny. He's taking a bag out. Melty gnomes. Let me see if I can find him. Oh. He's on the loo. Really? Well, she flies and stop. The paper isn't all that good. That's the cover. And this one, it's all right. I could have, I probably should have picked a better book. It's called The Enchanted Forest. It's another Ava Brown book. It's just foresty pictures. I kind of wish I could win it with another one. That's all right. This one came from Molly's too. I think it was three ninety nine. dollars It's Nutcracker. I'm going to go get my older niece another a copy of this. This is the one, this is the book that 
may have, yep, this is the one that came free because you could tell the wrinkly in the back. This is this is the one I get. I didn't pay for it because they messed up when they delivered it. And it was in the rain and they could have tucked it in between the door, the storm door and the front door and they didn't. They left it out in the rain and it was almost folded in half. But it's been sitting in between all these books. And here's another um, Kirby Rosana. Is that how you say it? From Walmart. This is the more traditional ones. Two more. I can put this stuff back. Okay, I, this stuff up. Worlds Within. So either the Worlds Within or that ah. first one I showed you was my, one of my first ones. I don't remember which one. I might have. I might have bought them ah. both at the same time. I bought them days apart, anyway. So Walmart and Walmart, the last Kirby book, mixed Mythic World, and I am done talking. I've been talking for an hour and twenty minutes. I've seen some people have to do two, two, three-hour coloring book calls. Are you done? Are you done? Would you like a snack? Thank you for keeping me company. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodnight. Goodnight. Hello? You gonna step up? He just bit me. And it wasn't a gentle bite either. Then look at that. He's bipolar. All birds are bipolar. You ready to go? Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. You're going to get the phone.